Your parents immigrated to the U.S., right? To Detroit? Yeah. My grandparents immigrated from Malta with their five children. My father was the oldest. And then they became citizens. My father then joined the U.S. Army and served in the Korean War and then went to Germany to medical school on the GI Bill, met my mother, who was German. They lost everything through Hitler, took everything from my grandparents and were very, very poor. And my mother ended up um, being a governess in Spain. And they met on a train uh, in Germany, really? exchanged phone numbers, and a year later were married. I was conceived 11 months and two days later. My brother was conceived. And of course, my dad could not study with two crying babies. So my brother and I emigrated with my mother to live with my grandparents in Detroit, and we came over stateless because at that time, Germany only recognized the citizenship of the father, and the United States did not allow my father to transfer his citizenship because he had not yet been a citizen for 10 years. Now, all of that's changed, but my brother and I are naturalized, and we came over with stateless stamped across our baby pictures. Wow. But your father did naturalize eventually. He did. He was a citizen when he served, but he could yeah. not pass his uh, citizenship on for 10 years at that time. Yeah. So he served in the Korean War, and he went to medical school in Germany, right? Yes. And then when he specialized, he came back to the United States and did his specialty there. He is a urologist. Yeah. And... You thought your grandparents were your mom and dad, right? They raised you. So people don't really think about children as having a voice, I think. And when my mother would work downtown Detroit, send the money back to my father, we lived with my grandparents. When my mother came home after working, I thought she was more like my sister rescuing me from my parents. You know, my grandmother had been yelling at me, don't do this, don't do that, you know, whatever, as little kids. And... I would get up every morning with my grandfather who worked at Ford at five, six o'clock and have some coffee and toast with him. And my uncle, who was in the youngest child of theirs, was in high school calling them mom and dad. So I called them Nunnu and Nunna, which means grandmother and grandfather in Maltese. But I equated it with mom and dad because they did everything for me. Yeah. So five years later, and I only saw my dad once a year, five years later, my dad comes back. And they put us in a car, and they take us away. And I felt kidnapped because no one told me. Now, still to this day, my family will tell me that I'm stupid, that I didn't know. And how could I think that my grandparents were my parents? But, you know, you have to talk to little kids because it's the connotation of what they do for you every day that makes the word. Yeah. But, you know, when you're five years old, you know what's in front of you. You live moment to moment, and you know what you experience, right? That's that anonymous poem, Children Learn What They Live. It's just what you experience. That's what you know. Right, yeah. They were my parents. So I, I now look at it that I was blessed to have two sets of parents. But let me just tell you that feeling that you've been kidnapped since you were five makes you fight for everything. Yeah. And you said that's why... You've always been interested in the backstory of the people that come before you. You want to know their frame of reference, what they grew up with, how they got to be who they are. Right. Not everybody has a mommy and daddy like, you know, you or I. Not everybody um, can go to school. Not everybody understands the world around them. Or if they do, it's from a cultural perspective or a street perspective. Or they were abused and that changed their perspective. So it's that backstory that really enlightens me on how best to sentence them, rehabilitate them, and make sure that at the end of their journey with me, they are whole, if they can be, or maybe they need to be sent to prison. But it's the backstory that makes the story, and it's interesting that way. 